So manamadhanami is, it has a lot of, lot of meaning. It's our homeland. And we want, every, want to share it with everybody and teach them how to respect it. It means everything. Because especially now that all the grandchildren, great-grandchildren are here, it's very important that they come on the country and look around and they see me here with them. And they have to learn to listen. So that's, that's the importance of it, passing on everything. It's not just the Aboriginal people, it's about everybody. Because every, it's a multicultural nation. So we have to share all our knowledge, all the names for all the landmarks, the rivers. Um, that way they, everybody will get to respect it. I'll just show you something. You can't break this. You can pull it. It is tough. It is so tough. If we want to tie stuff up, we tie it up with this. If we want to make string, we have to refine it. So it's that white inner bark there. That's our string. To refine it, we would roll it on our leg. But we let it go half dry in the sun first. And then we do it. So we've got to... We let it go half dry and then we roll it and so it all binds together and it looks like string when we finish. So that's uh, manja or native hibiscus. This is one of our Tamra activities. I'm the Tamra coordinator. Um, and we're trying to um, put together new videos for each of our six saltwater groups and uh, capturing our stories. Um, and this is just the start of, you know, the first activity and we've still got our other five saltwater groups to do. So Banjan, um, it's important for us um, to capture the stories and, um, you know, our connection to our country. You know, it's not only Hinchinbrook Island, Lucinda is a part of, is part of our country as well. And, you know, there's lots happening on, on the mainland as well. These videos and that we, we make um, will um, be the basis for, you know, like education, educating the people who, who come on our country, fishermen, um, recreational and commercial, researchers, the unis that come out here and do, um, research on our country. We want to know who's coming on our country and if we are able to um, provide, you know, information to them about our country and the importance of it and that whatever they collect from our country that they share it with us. So it's like the reawakening of our language yeah. because I can remember even when I was young my mum used to say that, like, and through Granny and that, they were told not allowed to speak the language and because you're in white man's world. But now it's time for us to all start learning again and um, then for our young ones to also learn, which we had some young ones sitting in um, the lessons last weekend and then they've got one next weekend. So it's just like all this knowledge that, you know, that's coming out and learning and like it's really wonderful for us that you know yes we are here and we are strong and now for us too it's time for us to start stepping up and um, taking a bit of a lead role in things because like our elders are dying off so we sort of have to start stepping up and taking the lead in things yeah. for our mob you know which is very important. Hopefully that uh, like um, for us to set our younger generation um, will learn and continue to learn and continue to want to um, live one country. We're all hoping that one day we can come back here and live mm. and you know like instead of 
us being on the mainland and only coming across to do, you know, activities, cultural activities. We actually want to live here. You know, we've been here for how many tens of thousands of years and we're still alive and living and, you know, we want mm. everybody to understand that, you know, our land is important to us, our sea is important to us and, you know, hopefully the Tamaris will be here for generations to come um, to continue to, you know, and the government learn from us, not the government telling us what to do. When we first started, we had visions of having those boats like this to bring everybody, bulk people over here. It was only a vision. <laughs> and now it's reality. It makes me feel good inside. Because my older brother was here with me and, and he's gone now, but we see all that. It's, it's reality now. And our grandchildren are coming over and they can see what's happening and they can take over from us later. That's really important.